Hi everyone, welcome to Film Dirt. I held off commenting on the court case between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. I thought, you know, I, I don't have anything to add than what's already been mentioned online. But I've got a few things to say. <laughs> and also I've got a film channel and I've seen movies with both of them in. And even one movie with both of them in, in the same movie. London Fields, which was absolutely terrible. And I, I wish I'd got my two hours back. It really is awful. Anyway, I've been kind of dipping in and out of the court case. I haven't been religiously watching the online feed. I know it's very tempting, but, you know, I work and I've got family, so I've got plenty on my plate to occupy me. But you just can't avoid it, can you? It's just it's just there. <laughs> Wherever you, you go, someone's always talking about it and what's your opinion of it. I just wanted to get a few things I noted, you know, off my chest. And let's see, let's see if you agree with me. Let, let me know in the comments below if you've got anything, you know, interesting to add to my, my comments. Maybe I missed something. Who knows? And I'm recording this um, in the final week of jury deliberations, so we don't know what the result is yet. So, for Johnny Depp, I can believe he must have been pretty shocked to come home and find a, a turd in his bed. I mean, that is absolutely disgusting. I have seen the photo, or what, what is believed to be the photo, and uh, a, a little three pound, four pound dog, whatever it is, it's a terrier, isn't it? Or Westie or something. One of those really tiny dogs. They can't produce a, a turd like that without intending to be too crass. <laughs> they only produce a lot of turd like that when they're ill, really. Also, Depp looks drained. He, he slurs his words, and I understand you know, that he, he does that anyway, you know, and there's been a lot of drug abuse in his uh, past and present, and possibly future as well, you know, he has lost film roles, he's lost those two big franchises, Pirates and uh, Fantastic Beasts, and, uh, you know, drugs make you, make you miss see things, and, you know, maybe violence is a part of his um, personality maybe when he gets mad but I think he may have been provoked and possibly drawn to to behave that way and there's no evidence that he actually inflicted any damage or violence towards Amber Heard it seems to be only against property and, and himself now I'm gonna possibly litter this video full of words like allegedly because I don't know what I'm saying is is true or been confirmed or denied in the case because I haven't been plugged into it. Now let's talk about a few things that I noted from Amber Heard's testimony. Overall I think she comes across as, as really rude, uh, difficult, um, passive aggressive, you know there's some undertones there behind what she's saying and, and her body language as well there's something uh, you know not quite right there and it's a little bit almost sinister and she's not very good at hiding it and i don't think she's a very good actor at all just my personal opinion and um what she did say allegedly seems like complete lies i mean that's that's just what i'm getting and allegedly manipulating photos, um, allegedly no evidence of any violence against her by Johnny Depp. Um, the, her lawyers are somewhat rude as well, especially Elaine. And I don't like the way she looks at the jury. It just looks very strange. And did I say she's aggressive as well? <laughs> it's something not quite right about her demeanour. I know she's probably desperate, 
you know, and uh, she wants to win, obviously. She wants to win. This is huge, and it's not easy being in the public eye. But she seems to want everything to go her own way. And she's chosen to be in the public eye. And this is the consequence when you allegedly <laughs> behave in an unpleasant way. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, I think she's brought this upon herself, and I'm definitely Team Depp. You know, just from what we've seen, I think he's way out in front and he should win. And because it's got to this very toxic stage, I, I do believe they're mutually toxic. There's some unpleasant things from both sides in behaviour and, and, and what's being said, it seems. I'm not a fan of either actor. You know, I'm a fan of movies, but I never really took to Johnny Depp's films at all and I definitely didn't take to any of Amber Heard's. I don't think, you know, I, I said earlier, I, I don't think she's that good of an actress anyway. But Johnny Depp's films I never really got on with. I, I never liked Pirates of the Caribbean. There's a few things I like that he's been in. His best film of mine probably is uh, Sleepy Hollow. And that's going way back. But I never really was into Johnny Depp. I can appreciate he's a good actor and he, he seems to play... A, a lot of roles like himself. He brings a lot of himself to his roles. He, he seems quite cool. And he's obviously a good-looking man. But, you know, I can't be accused of being a fan of Johnny Depp. I, I never have been. But, you know, you can, you can address that he's been around a while and he's a significant actor. So, I guess team Johnny Depp for me, <laughs> after all that. No, it's just something very strange about Amber Heard and her and her camp. You know, the, the friends she introduced to the to the testimonies and her legal team as well. You know, what is going on here? I hope the jury did make the right decision here because there's only one decision to be made. Yeah, it's um, it's all very strange, and right? it seems like everyone is agreeing with these uh, comments. I hope someone really sits down with Amber Heard and, you know, and explains things adult to adult. You know, you, you've got to change. It's not too late to change, you know. You, that, that's a bad attitude you've, you allegedly have there. So I'll leave that there for now. I think I've, I've summarised very loosely my thoughts on, on the whole matter and uh, looking forward to the decision. And uh, probably by the time I post this, it's already been made. But, you know, leading up to the decision, just from what we can see in the little evidence we've seen on both sides, you know, definitely Team Johnny Depp. I'm, I'm against uh, violence towards anyone, whether it's male or female. And, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be happening. And toxic relationships uh, need to end you know, a lot sooner and not keep dragging on bad feelings because it, cause it only rots, doesn't it? Okay, guys, let's, uh, let's leave it there and eagerly anticipate the decision. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot for joining me. See you again on my channel soon. Take care.